Hey guys, so quick disclaimer, I am still in the same like area that I was last week with the awkward bed underneath just because this was easiest, but I put this blanket here, so I'm thinking, hey, this adds like some design, right? Probably not. This was probably a bad idea. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I wasn't planning on doing, but I decided to after I went to my latest concert. Or wait, no, not the last concert I went to, but two concerts ago. If you haven't seen the part one to this video, um, you can just click the eye in the corner and it will take you there. But it was titled The Worst Concert experience or something like that and in the video I was very dramatic <laughs> um, but it was like the first story time that I ever did and I talked about how I went to a 21 Pilots concert and how there's just a lot of bad events that happened of course 21 Pilots themselves were amazing but just the concert experience itself sucked and I didn't like having that negative connotation if I would have redone the video now I would have done it differently but I thought I would do an update because I recently went to another 21 Pilots concert and it was a million times better. I actually bought tickets for this one. I didn't last time because we had a friend who like hooked us up with tickets but this time I actually bought some um, and I got two tickets because right before the concert I surprised Hannah with them because it was her birthday really close to that concert so that was kind of her birthday gift was to go to this Tournament Pilots concert. I bought the tickets when they first came out. The first day they came out um, I decided to buy it. This was for the Emotional Roadshow. Oh you know what actually hold on. <laughs> ah. There. This shirt's a little bit more festive. This is the shirt that I got at the Emotional Roadshow. Um, I know last video I was wearing my Tournament Pilots hat, so I thought I'd wear my shirt this time. So anyways, um, yeah, I surprised Hannah with these tickets, and like I said, it was the Emotional Roadshow tour, and I bought the tickets the day they came out, so I got floor tickets, which it's kind of like general admission. Um, if you've ever been to like a giant stadium concert, um, there's all the seating, and then right in front of the stage, below it, there's just people standing, and I think there's chairs in the back but it's just you get there first come first serve so so I was a little nervous just because I'm short I'm like five two and a half five three and with this sort of ticket you just get there and you're behind the people you are and who knows if you can see or not it is nice because the stage is above you so you could at least see things so Hannah's mom volunteered to drive us because right after this concert they're picking us up at the venue and we were going to Hannah's cabin so she dropped us off at the venue and then they went home Hannah's mom picked us up again at the venue and then we went straight to her cabin in Wisconsin so um, it was nice because we didn't have to drive but unfortunately since it was so busy and stuff we weren't able to get there as early as I had hoped so once we got downstairs to the general admission um, there actually wasn't too many people around obviously there was already people lining like the whole front row but me and Hannah went off to the if you're looking at the stage we're on the left side which is kind of near like the gated area I mean this is all inside but they have like gates and stuff so it's kind of nice because you're able to lean up against that because since we we're gonna be standing for hours on end because there's no chairs in general admission um, it was nice how we were able to kind of lean up against that we also befriended the two people in front of us they were probably in middle school but <laughs> we talked to them for a while because since in between the two openers and just getting there early and the setup there's a lot of time before 21 Pilots came out so we just talked to them the girls that we befriended we kind of left a little space in between us so we weren't crammed up to each other and so it's just really nice because we weren't crammed and since there was some gaps in between us we we're able to see clearly since there's not like a head right in front of you so that was nice and since they're in like middle school they're kind of short so I could see over them <laughs> now quick concert etiquette. Do not get there like three hours after the concert started, so before 20 Pads gets there, and shove your way up to the front. So many people did that where they just felt the need that they were better than everyone else and just pushed their way through the crowd to the very front. That is so rude. It is like I've been saying, first come first serve. So if you get there first, you get the front. That's how it should work. But yeah, just be nice and it, you get there when you get there. And if you're in the back, deal with it. So why I titled this as the best concert ever is because this one moment, not only was I super close to them, but also right before they came on stage, the security guards came since we're by the fence. Security guards started walking and telling us, hey, just letting you know, um, Josh and Tyler are going to be walking through here and they don't want you reaching out or anything. Do not reach your hand out. Um, they have a very strict policy. I'm sure because some idiot ruined it and like tried to grab their hair or something because people suck. And we're all like, wait, what? They're they're gonna be walking through here what does that mean and so as the concerts kind of going all of a sudden the security guards start kind of like you just can tell and me and Hannah specifically me right against the fence 
and they come walking and I am so close to them. I'll play the clip now. So that happened twice because they walked down and then they walked back. And why they're walking this way is because at one point in the general admission there's a stage in the middle and they played there. So since we're at the very front, we couldn't see any of that. I just had to look at the big monitor because it was so far back in the general admission. Um, so it was kind of nice. So if you did get there late and we're in the very back, Toronto Pilots made it where you could still be able to see because at one point they went to the backstage. So I got so close to them. <laughs> it was kind of unfortunate though because they did have to walk fast with their heads down and the security guards had to surround them and stuff. Um, and like I said, I think that's just because people are rude and selfish and they just try to you know, scream and yell and grab them and it's just not polite. And then what was cool is, uh, first off, at the very end Josh wore his Minnesota Wild jersey and if you don't know that's our hockey team so, I mean, just like whatever. Now I'm in Colorado so I guess I can't really say that, you know, Minnesota pride but still I lived there for like 10 years, give it to me. But typically if you've seen videos of the concerts or if you went to one, um, Tyler was the one to go into that big hamster ball looking thing and like run over the crowd. Um, but for us, he said that Josh had been wanting to like this whole tour and so in Minnesota was the time that they're gonna let Josh do it. So um, they changed their whole regimen and they had Josh run it but there was a problem because the hamster ball the zipper broke so air was leaking out of it so you could only do it for like 10 seconds but I'll play the video of it here. He said every time they've done that hamster ball everything went fine and then the one time Josh did it, it broke so I mean Illuminati confirmed. So they played all you know really good songs. They played Heathens which I wasn't sure if they're going to. Suicide Squad had come out at that time I want to say but I wasn't sure if they were allowed to but they played it so it was really cool because I like that song a lot. And then afterwards when they were done I know I mentioned in my last video how Tyler came out and like met some of his fans so me and Hannah we lingered as long as we could but like I said uh, we left straight for her cabin so we lingered as long as we could but then people started to like show us away as they were like sweeping the ground and I figured Figured there wasn't going to be anything because the venue's so huge that it just wouldn't be possible. So I knew it, but I just stuck around just in case they like came out and said hi. But yeah, we got shooed away, and then Hannah's mom was there to pick us up and bring us to the cabin. So it was a very short lived afterwards, but we stick around just in case so I don't have that pit of regret in my stomach. So that's good. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.